because of complexities uh, in surge modeling and surge analysis, there are some restrictions on the uh, geometry of the model and the way the model is developed. And these restrictions are illustrated uh, for this ex on this example. Uh, there are no restrictions for junction nodes. We can have any number of pipe connections to a junction node. But for all the other types of devices, there are restrictions. Uh, for supply nodes such as reservoirs, uh, tanks, and pressure supplies, we have to have exactly one connection. Uh, for components such as pumps, valves, uh, sprinklers, we can have one or two connections. Now if we have two connections, uh, there'll be one to either side. If we have one connection, it's assumed that the second side is at a reservoir and we'll have to provide data for that reservoir. Uh, for surge control devices such as surge tanks, air valves, uh, uh, rupture disc, pressure relief valves, we have to have exactly two connections. Now if, for, uh, if we violate any of these restrictions uh, when we run the air, when we run the analysis we'll get an error message that will uh, flag each of these violations. Now we can get around these restrictions uh, very easily by just adding a uh, junction node close to the uh, element and there we can put as many connections as we want. For example, if we want a second connection at this reservoir, I'll zoom in and we'll show you how we would uh, handle this. What I would do is close to this reservoir, I would add an intermediate node. Just, and then I would change that node to a junction node. And now I can add as many pipes as I want. For example, I could go across here and add a pipe. And I could add additional pipes. So uh, these restrictions uh, may force us to add some additional junctions so we can make the multiple connections, uh, but they are required to do the surge analysis.